Next, we will introduce the infinite or non-asymptotic end behavior limits. As a part of the introduction, we will discuss the definitions, interpretations, and a few examples. We associate the following behavior with the following limit statement called an infinite end behavior limit. Note that we do not suggest that the graph must approach positive infinity in any particular way. It can approach it faster or slower for different functions. Either of these behaviors are described with the same limit statement and schematically can be expressed with an arrow pointing in the upper right corner of the graph. We say f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to positive infinity. We associate the following behavior with the following limit statement called an infinite end behavior limit. Note that we do not suggest that the graph must approach negative infinity in any particular way. It can approach it faster or slower for different functions. Either of these behaviors are described with the same limit statement and schematically can be expressed with an arrow pointing in the lower right corner of the graph. We say f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to positive infinity. We associate the following behavior with the following limit statement called an infinite end behavior limit. Note that we do not suggest that the graph must approach positive infinity in any particular way. It can approach it faster or slower for different functions. Either of these behaviors are described with the same limit statement and schematically can be expressed with an arrow pointing in the upper left corner of the graph. We say f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to negative infinity. We associate the following behavior with the following limit statement called an infinite end behavior limit. Note that we do not suggest that the graph must approach negative infinity in any particular way. It can approach it faster or slower for different functions. Either of these behaviors are described with the same limit statement and schematically can be expressed with an arrow pointing in the lower left corner of the graph. We say f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to negative infinity. So, to interpret an infinite end behavior limit, we would first read it as f approaches to positive or negative infinity as x approaches to positive or negative infinity. Then, we can draw the behavior according to the statement in one of the following four ways. So, for instance, this is what one would imagine when seeing the following limit statement. It shows that f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to negative infinity. For instance, this is what one would imagine when seeing the following limit statement. It shows that f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to positive infinity. For instance, this is what one would imagine when seeing the following limit statement. It shows that f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to positive infinity. And finally, this is what one would imagine when seeing the following limit statement. It shows that f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to negative infinity. Let's do an example. Consider a function defined by the following graph. And let's find the following limits. In other words, let's describe the non-asymptotic end behavior of the graph. To find this non-asymptotic end behavior limit, we need to determine whether the graph increases or decreases indefinitely on the left as x approaches to negative infinity. It is easy to see that the function goes up, in other words, f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to negative infinity. Therefore, the answer is positive infinity. Similarly, to find this non-asymptotic end behavior limit, we need to determine whether the graph increases or decreases indefinitely on the right as x approaches to positive infinity. It is easy to see that the function goes down. In other words, f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to positive infinity. Therefore, the answer is negative infinity. Let's do another example. Consider a function defined by the following graph. And let's find the following limits. In other words, let's describe the non-asymptotic end behavior of the graph. 
To find this non-asymptotic end behavior limit, we need to determine whether the graph increases or decreases indefinitely on the left as x approaches to negative infinity. It is easy to see that the function goes down. In other words, f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to negative infinity. Therefore, the answer is negative infinity. Similarly, to find this non-asymptotic end behavior limit, we need to determine whether the graph increases or decreases indefinitely on the right as x approaches to positive infinity. It is easy to see that the function goes up. In other words, f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to positive infinity. Therefore, the answer is positive infinity. We discussed the definitions of infinite or also known as non-asymptotic and behavior limits using the graphing approach.